we've come out because I want to go um, walking in the rain and sod's law, typical, just my luck. Just as we stepped out, it stopped raining and now it's sunny. Chelsea game's on. I don't care. Chelsea scored 1 0. This is my worst nightmare for waiting for the rain and I'm refusing to go anywhere until it starts raining. Do some shutters. We're going to go for a nice long walk um, in South Ken mm -hmm. and um, Louis is going to get a bubble on you and I'm going to get maybe a cupcake or a pretzel or something like that. Then we're going to have an Indian Ocean. Yeah. So, that's about it for the moment. Booties! We're in Louis' dirty van today. It's only dirty because of all the rugby stuff in it. It's dirty, there's no excuse. Well. Louis keeps winding down the window so I can hear Chelsea at Stanford Bridge night two. Stanford Bridge is there, that's no. why it's going to school. That's yeah, school. I know. My least favourite place. Beautiful. Why I'm filming it, I don't know. But I see clouds. Yay! Ben Arthur's got the ball on the right hand side of the Newcastle midfield. He's the What do we think of the turban? I'm not sure. I don't know if I like it. Matic heads it in know. space, which is uh, picked up by uh, Sammy Amiobi. Mm. Amiobi back through the midfield from Ben Arthur. Ben Arthur, Arthur. Arthur. and towards the left hand touch line in Newcastle. Breaking um, forward quickly here with Sissoko right through the ball from him. De Jong coming in the far post. And I got this one on. Very nice. And he's hurt. He almost went through his hands and hit his knee, but he gathered it. Belay to the second attempt, but for a moment, it's not going to be a constantly embarrassing act. It's just my. Necklace. We have a silver thing going on today. But I don't think I'm going to wear the purple. Nah. Louis just got me these. Louis just picked these up. That Rolls Royce is very nice. Who's driving it? To try. These must be for Valentine's. Going in here later for a quick cocktail. HR Eric. I'm a fan of the red brick. Oh my gosh, what the hell is that? <gasps> Look at this little bulldoggy. Louis' favourite. What the hell is that? Looks like an Look old one. Him. Look at him. Oh. Oh. He's still got his balls. I can't believe what he's doing, that's terrible. No tape. Louis likes his building. Um, art sculptors. Oh. Shoot. This is where Louis went to primary school. Just in there. What was it called? What is it called? Our Lady of Victories. And this is the muse where Dad worked down here. How ironic that it was right next to Louis' school. And I decided to go for a little wonder. And I didn't tell Dad. And he lost me. And he was really scared. And he quite literally shit himself. Hmm. Wondering where the hell I was. Because I was only young. He was working down here. Parked his van right there on the right. Ooh, we like it here. Coming up to MPW where Louis went to college for a bit. Oh London, how I love you. And here we are. Don't forget we've got to park down my favourite road. Of course.
parking down my favourite is road in the whole wide world. I don't walk unless it's raining. It's about to rain, look at the sky, look. I'm still going to wear my glasses though. Ooh, hush. The result of all of that is a Chelsea throw over on the phone. Lots of people in boots and leggings and capes and things like that. <laughs> You've got your leggings and your booties on. Yeah, but I'm not posh. I've got my boots on. I was just. No. Oh, okay. I was just moaning that there's no rain. It's just started to have a little bit of a blizzard. It's lovely. We're going to farm foods to stock up on um, more. We're stocking up on the Lucas 8, 50p each, or 199 in Tesco. So two for a pound. We're going to stock right up. Servicemen's Club, where I used to go when I was younger. These are two for a pound in farm foods, 50p each, or 1.99 in Tesco, or 1.69 wherever else. Lovely flowers. Baby powder Yankee candle burning. It's cosy raining outside. I'm going to put some TV on, have our cinnamon swell, some Caribbean crush, and um, then locate the grey cat. I would like to go for a little walk in the rain though, but maybe I won't. Maybe I will actually. Right, we've just had our pretzel and it was really nice. Um, it worked out perfectly actually because it was there, it wasn't burnt and we got it straight away. Normally we go there and it's always really burnt and we found a seat straight away and I was able to change my perfume. Which is the brown one, the brown Chanel. And uh, I got a little oh, Chanel bag. I got that. And um, yeah, I like that one. So the other thing I am happy about is this Soap and Glory perfume. Now I love the smell of Soap and Glory, and I thought I'm the kind of person who likes my body wash to smell I like my body cream to smell the same as my body wash I don't really like to mix smells so I can use the, the scrub the cream and then the perfume and if anyone smells soap and glory they'll know how lovely this is £16.50 and I got this now everybody goes mad for this whenever I use this so I got two of these, £2.50. I thought it was on a three for two offer, but it actually excludes basically everything. And when I got my perfume, I changed my perfume. Look at the cool bag. She gave me a voucher. So I, I needed a new mascara and blusher, and I'm picky now because I can't get any that tests on animals, but I don't think number seven. I've blown it over again. Uh, anyway, I got this extreme length extend fiber enriched formula mascara and the blusher ended up being well there was an offer on it was buy one number seven get one half price so i got this for four pound and then i got a further three pound off of my voucher so i got that we're now going to get 
Starbucks. We're now going to go to Starbucks and then go to Starbucks. You see? This is what you want and he's still got the fully grown beard. Kate Spade have a sale and we might go check out Kate Spade. That's about it, really. She's in my lazy old bag. I've got my cat, she's a cat. And lots of sugar all over me. New bus, new bus! Without Harrods. Oh, wow. We've just been to Richmond to get some pretzels because I read a review on Time Out, and this is how a pretzel should be. And apparently, according to Louis, they are amazing. How do they taste, Lucy? Amazing, they're light, they're so light and rough. The ones in Westfield are really heavy. They're really heavy and they're always burnt at the put bottom. This, put this in your mouth, it's really light and fluffy. And sometimes they're cold. It's got a bit of chip, kick of chilli in it, but it's really nice. Yeah, I can smell like the spicy one. Just going to have some. Oh. <gasps> very, very nice. That's so nice. Wow, they're nice. Like bread. Like warm, fresh bread, just how I like it. Get a bit of a kick from the chilli, but it's really nice. We've drove all the way here. We park, we've drove around, because I don't know if anybody knows, but Richmond is a nightmare. Oh yeah, it's, it has got quite a... Uh, ooh, a chilli. A chilliness to it, which is very nice. I want these and I want this. It's a two pack. Colin Campbell stayed in that one. We've just come off uh, Bond Street, we've just gone past Claridge's, and we've just seen in this big, lovely white house here, it's number, I'm not sure, but it says this Bee Gees, Barry Robin, Maurice Gibb, composed and stayed here. 1968 until 1980 I'd like that to be my house, if possible. <laughs> it's massive. Wow. Wow. It's where the Bee Gees stayed. And they look big, but yet small. If you have a look, look at the inside. 
Look how far back it goes. Look at that. They've got painting on the ceiling. Oh, whoa. I wonder if it's a hotel.